these boards together, I'm going to use dial drawing. And you simply just make a mark in the centre of your board. So measure the board divided by two, gives us our centre line. And then with our dial jig, we open up the release so it's all nice and thin. Put your tool on, put your fence up against the board. Just bring your tool back in so that this centre line here is on the centre line of the board. Tighten it down. Take that away. Just give it a good tighten. Come back. Double check. It's actually moved a little bit, so we're going to adjust that again. And spot on. the side supports up what we're going to do first of all is we're going to offer up our leg to our, our support only to our leg and to get that flush with the top we're going to make a mark now that we know that that's the mark our dowel pin needs to be somewhere in the middle it doesn't have to be exact don't need to measure just somewhere near is all you need at this stage Get your hole drilled, bit of glue in the hole, get your dowel and hammer that into place. Now I know that I need my shelf coming down, my next leg to be 18 inches, so I'm going to get my steel rule, put it on the edge of the mark, I'm going to make a line. 18 inches, offer up my board again, and I'm going to mark on the board where the support goes there. And I'm going to drill my next drill. Clear my drill a bit before my next drill. Again, somewhere in the middle, doesn't have to be exact. some wood glue and that's it I'm going to mark these number one and number two on our supports I'm going to mark that one number one so that will marry with that peg and I'm going to mark this one number two and that will marry with that peg and on here that'll be number three and that'll be number four. And to transfer the dowel mark now to the next hole, I simply go to my workbench here, line up the two surfaces, so the vertical and the horizontal. Once I'm happy that that's in place, I'm going to clamp those two together. Get your dowel master, locate your dowel. 
push up to the fence and drill your hole. So that now should match up to that. Spot on. stuff happy with that now if like on this edge here it's up a little bit there's nothing that your 80 grit adjusting tool can't solve with a little bit of heavy sanding so we'll put this one into clamp and we'll leave that overnight and then we'll assemble the rest tomorrow Okay, so it's time to attach the stretchers. Uh, slight change of plan as well. I know, unusual for me, isn't it? Um, is that I can actually fit this in the back of the car, so I'm going to make it all in one go, which kind of renders the um, the pocket holes a bit useless. But not to worry. Um, and it was also dictated by the fact that I, I drilled the pocket holes in the wrong place. They should have been on that face, not that face. So. I can't put it on modular and then have the top on because it, the top's going to be sitting on top of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it all together now and crack on. Okay, so we've got our side pieces done and we've got the back piece all cut uh, and to mount these on we're just going to drill some pocket holes in the back of the um, the backs 
And I've got my little shop helper here. He's going to help us out and he's going to drill the pocket holes here now for me. He's got his ear defenders on. I'm going to switch the back on and away he goes. <laughs> So as, as you can see now, there's a bit of a gap here, as this board is, is as these these pine boards have warped a little bit. So what we've done is we've uh, pre-drilled and countersunk some screws here, and we're just going to drive them in at the side. Tristan's going to do that for me now. Off you go. Hang up, hang up, hang up. Stop, 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 stop. We get back out. It's a flicky trigger. Flicky trigger the other way. Pull the screw back out. No. Okay. Flick your trigger again now to make you go in. Press. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Pull the trigger now, slowly. Okay. We need to line it up. Okay, so seat your screwdriver in your screw. Yeah. Now pull the trigger. And push at the same time. Pull the trigger. Pull. Keep pulling. Good job, buddy. You do the next one? Yep. Okay, make sure your screwdriver keeps sitting inside the screw. Mm. You see it coming out? It's because you come up at an angle. There you go. That pull through. Keep going. Job stop. Good job, champ. Now, now you have to make the bomb. I love it. That's yeah. fantastic. Measured to the height of a set of wellies. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So you can put your wellies underneath. Now, Brilliant. it's natural pine, okay? There's no protection on this at all at the moment, so it's going to get humid in here. Yeah. Especially in the summer. These are going to start to swell and absorb moisture. Okay. So you're going to need to treat the wood with okay. something, either varnish it, paint it. Pa do just something paint will do, yeah? Absolutely. Paint will do. Okay, ground. Yeah, yeah so I'm uh, painting it too. Yeah, paint or varnish, whatever you want to do with it. That's brilliant. So, that's cool. Right, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the project. Stefan seems to be uh, made up with it. Now, it is unfinished at the moment, so we've just talked about finishing. Stefan's going to give that a nice lick of paint, and that will last him for a, a long time to come. Um, we were just discussing that as well as the cost for the build would be the same price as you could buy in the shop but the one that you could buy in the shop is nowhere near as sturdy as this one so it's worth taking the time and the effort to do it yourself. Anyway guys thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one I'll see you soon take care bye. Super stuff thanks. Thanks mate.
three, two, one. Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today's project. <laughs> oh come on! It's twenty minutes. I've been stood here trying to do this. Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Today's project, we're going to make a little potting stand for a. <laughs> what the fuck? Is the body there? What's the difference? Ah, <laughs> oh, killing me. Right, I'm going again. <laughs> <laughs> 